Right, so today we're looking at part three of 34-year-old Mike and his 24-year-old Colombian girlfriend, Jimena. Last time out, Mike arrived in Colombia and met Jimena and her family for the first time. His inability to speak Spanish and her inability to speak English made for an awkward first day, but they ended the night in good spirits and ended up sleeping together. The day after, however, the mood changed as Jimena revealed to Mike that she had been keeping a secret from him. Despite knowing that it's been his dream for them to have children together, Ever since they met, she had failed to tell him that she had had an operation, which means that her chances of ever having kids are almost zero. Upon hearing the news, Mike was devastated, but after taking a few days to think about it, he decided to forgive her so that they could move forward and focus on raising Jimena's own two kids together. After a few difficult days getting over what had happened, Mike has decided to book the two of them a romantic trip to a nearby town called Salento. With Jimena's kids usually next door and her father usually asleep downstairs, this is the first time that they're gonna be able to be freely intimate with each other. <laughs> I just want to be with Jimena, just me and her. I am not gonna waste any time. Oh. Are you kidding me? This guy gasses up the room just as they're about to get freaky and all he can do is creepily whisper te amo at her again. Saying it is an awkward filler when he couldn't think of anything else to say was just about acceptable. And I'm still trying to get over the way he did it to her men as kids, but why is he not apologizing here? It's like he thinks saying I love you is a get out of jail free card for everything, but it really isn't enough for him. I mean, when you're a generous two out of 10 and you're trying to woo someone, the very least you could do is smell nice and have basic manners. But this man somehow managed to make something even drier than their conversations. This would maybe be a little bit harsh of me if it was a one-off accidental slip, but apparently he does it all the time. We'll get to that shortly, but first, a big part of the reason that Mike booked this trip was so that they could spend some time one-on-one -on -one finding more out about each other. So given they had to evacuate the room, the pair then went outside into the hot tub where Mike asked Jimena about her dating history. Yo conviví con un sicario. Sicario, sí. Me mandó a matar. Bueno, me tenía encerrada. Are you absolutely sure that he's not going to come back and hurt any of us? No, eso fue hace un casi dos años que pasó eso, entonces nunca desde que me separé él no sé nada de él. Fairly normal response there from Mike, just making sure that he has nothing to worry about. But to be fair to Jimena, she didn't actually know that he was a hitman at the time. When she first started dating him, she actually thought that he was a tattoo artist, and she only figured it out a week into living with him. Terrifyingly, when she tried to break up with him as a result, he sent her a message saying, enjoy your life because you've only got three days left to live. Thankfully, the threat obviously didn't materialize. And after she forwarded the message to police, she never heard from him again. I really don't know why Amena allowed herself to get involved in men like that, but it's just one thing after another after another. And I'm worried right now what else I might learn, what else might come to light. I get the concern about the hitman coming back, but other than that, I don't think it's really fair for him to judge her for her past relationships. Particularly when the one that he's most concerned about wasn't even something she knew about until it was too late. If anything, he should be happy that he gets to be the first stable partner for her and the first good father figure to the kids. And he should also be grateful that that's what she's looking for now because that's pretty much all he has going for him at the minute. You know, the start of this saga has been quite one-sided. Since we met them both, we've only really focused on Jimena's operation and Jimena's dating history. And as a result, perhaps unfairly, she's had quite a lot of the criticism come her way. Fortunately, given we're overdue a look into Mike's flaws, he has many of them. And one thing in particular is on Jimena's mind, so she calls her sister Wendy to vent about it. My super cochino cochino. Yes. Ay, Dios mío, qué cosas asquerosas, vean esto. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh.
I actually can't believe he's like this so soon after meeting her. And again, just like earlier on, he didn't even apologize after burping in front of her father at the dinner table. It's so obviously rude. And on top of that, him leaving his clothes and dirty underwear scattered all over her house is gross and outright disrespectful. This probably isn't the worst of it either. He's still really awkward in a lot of these scenes, so imagine how bad it's gonna get when he gets comfortable. Jimena's sister, quite rightly, advised her to sit down and talk to Mike so that he can change his behavior. And the first thing she mentions is the dirty clothing. Okay, I'll definitely work on that. También hay cosas de que, o sea, cuando tú comes y vas a drutar, no tiene que hacerlo delante de mí. Eh, también cuando te tiras tus pedos, no lo hagas adelante de mí. Me da asco, eso me desenamora. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean for that to happen. I feel a little bit bad for him here because as a grown man, this is so embarrassing. But like we said earlier, even if these were accidental slips, his reaction after was just as bad. To be fair, at least he's not coming up with excuses and actually is apologizing and saying he'll work on it. For someone who behaves like a child a lot of the time, at least his responses here are mature. I'm just wondering where, where is this coming from? I'm not farting in front of Jimena intentionally. I kind of just, was an accident. So it makes me upset that Jimena's like calling me out on these things that I can easily change. It's not as bad as like going to jail or running away from kids or killing people for money. How is he confused where this is coming from? It can't be a surprise that these things are grossing her out, surely. And him bringing her exes up again made no sense either. Her having bad relationships in the past doesn't mean that she should have to put up with things that she doesn't like now just because they're not as bad. The comparison is irrelevant. And saying at least I'm not in jail or killing people for money is such a weak argument. It's like, congratulations, you stepped over a bar that's barely an inch off the floor. I'd give you a pat on the back, but I'd be afraid that it would make you burp, fart, or shit your pants. She should accept me for who I am and help me to work on my faults together. It makes me wonder if there's something deeper going on that I don't know about yet. Maybe ending the relationship would be a bit extreme, but maybe it's just the straw that's threatening to break the camel's back. I mean, he hasn't exactly swept her off her feet yet, and now they're on their first romantic trip away. They're spending it discussing his farts through a translation app. He told her this trip was for them to figure out if they want to spend the rest of their lives together. So how does he actually think it's gone? Anyway, that was pretty much it for their getaway. But despite everything they talked about, it seemed like Mike hadn't changed one bit. <sighs> No metas ahí gas. El papel higiénico lleno de mocos no te no se puede meter ahí porque el carro no es tuyo. Tienes que respetar. No pues tienes una bolsita que me regales, por favor. Burping, farting, leaving snotty tissues everywhere. It's honestly like she's got a third kid to look after now. I wonder if Mike being this gross was part of the reason that Jimena was so unenthusiastic about sleeping with him in the last video. When we first met Mike and he said he hadn't had a girlfriend since high school, it wasn't a huge surprise. But as the episodes have gone on, it's made so much more sense. Anyway, Jimena turns to him and quite fairly says that it really isn't that hard to try to be clean. But in response, Mike reveals that he actually has ADHD. It's almost like a learning disability. It has something to do with the brain. Around middle school, I was diagnosed with ADHD. So I get distracted easily. I'll forget to do certain things. And a lot of things that Jimena wants me to change is not all my fault because it's been a, like a struggle, like basically my whole life to try to find other ways and work around it. I can't personally see what leaving a snotty tissue in a car has to do with ADHD, but I'm not an expert, so I'll leave this one to people who are more educated on the matter. It was an interesting scene though. Jimena seemed to speak to Mike in quite a caring way, given she had only just beforehand told him that he needed to change his gross habits. And she really did try to understand his condition and how it affected him. Still, it was quite clear to Mike that he needed to step up his game and start putting in more effort. So in an attempt to show that he's willing to try, and that he's capable of looking after Jimena and her two kids, he decided to cook dinner for them all, plating up four bowls of spaghetti with cheese sauce. How do you like the dinner? Is it good? Está muy rica, mi amor. Te quedo muy rico.
That is honestly the most uninspiring dish I've ever seen. My cat has coughed up more appealing concoctions than that. You can barely even see the sauce. It just looks like plain moist pasta. Honestly, fair play to Jimena for being so nice about this, because this is like his 10th disappointment in a row now. Fair play to Mike as well, I guess, for at least trying, but he's gonna have to do a lot better than that if he wants to really win her over. Yo pienso en la comida de Mike, o sea, qué pecado. Él tuvo todas las intenciones, pero pues le quedaron crudas, entonces me va a dar diarrea. Pero agradezco que haya tenido ese que haya nacido de prepararnos algo, o sea, es tierno. Judging by the way Jimena is looking at the food, I'm thinking I better just stick to the cleaning. But I really hope she realizes that I'm trying my best. So now that Mike and Jimena know each other a little bit better, Jimena's father Jamir wants to take some time to get to know Mike too. Obviously up until this point he hasn't exactly warmed to Mike very much, but now they're off for a coffee one on one and Mike has the chance to prove that he's the man for his daughter. Mike, pues yo no estoy convencido el 100% de ti. Yo necesito saber qué piensa usted con Jimena. I love her very much. Um, I do want to marry Jimena. This is bold, knowing that Jameer isn't entirely convinced about him and straight away bringing up the fact that he wants to marry his daughter is a risky strategy. I think he would have been a lot more likely to get his blessing if he had proved to both of them first that he is the right man for Jimena. Although, given he only has a few days left, maybe he just thought that it was now or never. Either way, given Jameer's uncertainty, he tests Mike in response, asking first if he even knows what Jimena's favourite colour is. Rosa es negro. Y la comida favorita de Jimena. Anything with meat in it? Eso y su comida favorita es Ministerio de Comida y algo que contenga. Por eso tienes que aprender el español. Quiero que se comprendan. You know, it's always easy to look at the partner who isn't from the US and doesn't have the money and say that they don't care about their partner's personality. But the same level of scrutiny should apply to both of them. Mike might not be using her for the money or the green card, but maybe he doesn't care about her personality. Maybe he's just using her to fill his void of loneliness and to satisfy his physical urges. I'm not saying that him not knowing her favourite colour or her favourite dish 100% means that he doesn't love her as a person. But when we suggest that Jimena might be more interested in Mike for the money or the green card, because she doesn't seem to be that into him for his personality or looks, we've definitely got to be consistent in applying that criticism when Mike doesn't show much interest in her personality either. Anyway, back to the conversation, Jameer goes on to say that the kids really look up to Mike, but that he's worried that they're going to be let down by their entry and exit of yet another father figure. Mike, however, promises him that he won't let that happen, and he says the reason that he came down to Colombia was to propose to Jimena so that he could be a good partner to her and a good father to the kids. And so, as a result, there's one thing he wants to get from him before they leave. Jameer, do I have your blessing to ask Jimena to marry me? May, yo miro que ustedes buena gente y se ha ganado el cariño de mis nietos, entonces le daré la bendición de Jimena. Muchas gracias. <laughs> I think Jamir still definitely got his reservations, and I think Mike's still definitely a way off convincing him that he's the right man for his daughter. But I think Jamir's essentially just leaving the decision up to Jimena. If she's happy with Mike, I think Jamir's just thinking that her kids are probably going to be better off too. And they actually touch on that more in the next episode. But for now at least, Mike's just happy that he got his blessing. I know this is kind of quick, and there's still a lot I need to learn about Jimena but this is what I've been dreaming of, for us to be a family and bring Jimena and the kids to America. I just hope I'm making the right decision. Interesting episode. Like I said earlier, in the first two videos, the focus was very much all on Jimena. And although there were one or two possible red flags from Mike, this video definitely showed that he has plenty to be criticised for in return. Well, next up, Mike is planning on proposing to Jimena in front of her entire family, but with the doubts that have been raised in this video about the way she feels about him, which way it's going to go is anyone's guess. So, if you want to find out what happens, please feel free to subscribe down below so you can catch that video as soon as I upload it. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.